much for that. So the global top story this week is going to be what the Fed is do, how much what the Fed is going to do, and how much it's going to be raising interest rate. But did you know that apart from Fed, there are 14 central bankers around the world who are meeting this week to deliberate a rate hike. The prominent ones include England, Bank of Japan, and these two count among the top five big economies of the world. But apart from that, we've also got banks in Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, South Africa, Philippines, Indonesia, Brazil, Taiwan, Egypt, amongst others. That list is very long. On the whole, 15 central bankers are meeting this week. For the Fed, the focus will not just be on the magnitude of rate hike, a 75 or 100 basis points rate hike, the recent CME Fed tool, for is now forecasting an 18% probability of 100 basis points rate high after the red-hot inflation print. But the attention will also be on the dot plot projection, which will indicate where the terminal rates are going to be and how long the Fed will continue to keep rates at these elevated levels. But apart from that, let's tell you what we can expect. Now, Bank of Japan is expected to stay pat like it has been for the last many months. It's been resisting the rising tide of increasing central bankers increasing interest rates. Bank of England could be raising rates anywhere between 50 to 75 basis points when it meets this Thursday. The reason the street is still divided on what the quantum of rate hike will be is because we've got some key data which comes prior to the meeting on Thursday. The July GDP, the August inflation print coming out of UK and that could sway the MPC over there. Switzerland's central bank is also likely to raise interest rates by 75 to 100 basis points. Did you know that Switzerland is now the only economy in the world where we still have negative interest rates? So once Switzerland raises, high, uh, you know, raises rates this time, it will end a seven-year um, you know, experiment with negative interest rates. But the most interesting one will be Turkey. Now, Turkey was one economy where we had 100 basis points rate cut in the month of August. The question is, what will it do in the month of September? It has been for focusing on growth over inflation as tourism has dissipated, but its inflation is running at 80%. That's how high inflation is. So let's see what Turkey does. And finally, Norway and Sweden, they could see interest rates being raised by 75 basis points, according to economists, following the path that ECB took. Well, the moot point is world around us, central bankers are accelerating their monetary policy normalizations, and investors are pricing in sharper surge in interest rates over the coming months. Back to you. Rima, very 